learn to crochet with Potter and Blue. Hello, this is a video tutorial for a beautiful new vintage stitch pattern that I have found called the Triple Lozenge Stitch. I've just been working this stitch for a, a recent commission that I worked on and I really liked it. In particular, how straight the edges work up, which is just fabulous. It's really easy, really quick to learn. It's just a row to pattern repeat. If you want to learn how to do it, grab yourself some yarn. I have just got some cheapy Aran weight yarn and a five millimeter hook. And I will show you how to do the triple lozenge stitch. For this stitch, we are working on a chain of multiples of six. The dog hair multiples of six, so that's six. Twelve, eighteen, and then we add four. And then we add another three. Or should I say multiples of six plus seven. Okay, so we are going to work two trebles in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. So we're going to do two trebles into that fourth chain. just put hand cream on and my hands are really slippy it was quite a silly thing to do just before doing a stitch tutorial we are going to chain one we're going to skip two stitches and we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch okay then we're going to chain one we're going to skip another two stitches and then we're going to work two stitches, one treble two chains and then two trebles all into that same stitch okay it's pouring down here today, I don't know if you can hear that chain one, skip two stitches, one, double crochet, chain one, skip two stitches, one treble, two chains and two trebles all into that. one stitch. Okay, chain one, skip two, one double crochet, chain one, skip two, one treble, two chains, and two trebles. Oh, go away, ball of yarn you're in the way <clears throat> and two trebles chain one skip two and a double crochet in that last stitch okay and then we're going to chain four and turn and that is what you should have okay 
and then this is the row to repeat so you repeat this row for your pattern so you've chained four and now you're going to work two trebles into she says not getting it in there into the base of that chain four okay so two trebles into the base of the chain four chain one and we're going to work one double crochet into that chain two space. Chain one. And then we're going to work into the double crochet from the previous round. We're going to work, she says, trying to find the way in. One treble. Two chains. and two trebles. Whoops. Okay, chain one. One double crochet in the chain two space. Chain one, one treble. Two chains. And two trebles. chain one, one double, in the two chain space, chain one, one treble, oh, two chain, two trebles, and when you get to the end of the row, you chain one, and you work your final double crochet under the turning chain. Okay? Let me just do that again, make sure I did that properly. So your final double under the turning chain, chain four. And turn. And then you repeat row two. The written details for the pattern are on my blog, I'll put a link in the box below, but I absolutely love this stitch and I'm going to be making something with it very soon. Hope that was useful, thanks for watching, bye. See you on the next